good morning and welcome back to another episode of Good Morning Soul. And today, I haven't done one of these in a while. I don't think uh, the upload order that you guys will have seen one of these in a while. I'm doing a that game I played. Um, I actually still have a decent amount of Good Morning Soul left to record before I'm done with the entire year. And now that I have a audio interface again, I'm just going to finish those up. So, that game I played, uh, there might be... This might be the last episode for the first season of Good Morning Soul. And that's not saying that there is going to be a second season... That's just all... Well, well, I'm rambling again. Anyway, Dark Void uh, is the game we are talking about today. And this is an interesting one. Um, because I actually did think I was going to replay this game one day. Because I didn't even play this the right way I normally play games. Um, if you know anything about me, I am very obsessed with stories. Um... I, for games, I, if there's no story in them, I usually, like, have a much harder time getting into them. That was not the case with this game. This game came into my life at a time when I was just buying games for the sake of it, and I was collecting, and I was just buying the cheapest things off the shelves. That include this game, and I was giving every game a chance, and I still will do that, but I don't, like... I don't look at piles of trash anymore and, like, get excited about it. <laughs> I guess you could say. I'm, I don't rummage the trash anymore. Um, as much as I used to, at least. But I definitely wouldn't have finished a game like this nowadays. This is a very average game. And nowadays, it's if it's not, like, really high quality or something I could really make a video about, I don't really end up playing games to their conclusion like that this game though um i can see why i would be interested in it enough to even because there's a couple games like this there's this game called dark sector another capcom game another game where there's someone in your fucking headphone talking to you telling you to do missions every fucking capcom game um but this game, I, I never finished why I, it was a little bit different for me. This game, I intentionally did not give a fuck about the story. Um, I remember, like, as a kid, like, just getting annoyed by text, and a lot of times I would just skip that shit. And later in life, I would be appalled if I did that. But this is one of those times where I literally just had... Uh, the music CD player from Xbox 360 on the entire game. Uh, the cutscenes, I don't remember the story because I know I turned that shit off. Which is very out of character for me. And I remember the CDs I had at that time. There was like Linkin Park and Hollywood and Dead. I just have specific memories of flying around uh shooting guns at fucking robot aliens and listening to fucking numb by lincoln park or in the end of course which you know badass fucking songs for this uh for something like this especially later in the game when there's these big epic battles so the heart of this game the story i it's some bullshit about going to a weird world dimension or something uh something about the bermuda triangle it doesn't fucking matter i remember uh i looked up some reviews to kind of refresh my brain for this and two conclusions i made were one i really didn't need to pay attention to the story and the second one so no fault on me for that and the second one was this game looks and acts a lot like the first Uncharted game, actually. Uh, I don't know if they were purposely trying to rip off that game. I don't know if they purposely got the voice of Nathan Drake to be the voice of their main character. But pretty much every review I read, or every review I watched, I should say, mentioned Uncharted at some point or another. Which is fine. 
I didn't play the first Uncharted game when I played this. I played Dark Void first, the more obvious classic, of course. But now that I have, looking at some of the footage, uh, yeah, you're in like a forest like Uncharted. You're playing as a guy who's very like watered down version of Nathan Drake, I should say. He doesn't radiate anything like special about him. Nathan Drake at least had like an aura to him. Like this guy, literally his face. If you took Nathan Drake's face and then like took any detail out of his face and tried to like make him less interesting, that would be this guy's face. Uh, he has a very similar love interest. I can see the comparisons. It's a third person shooter which I should talk about the shooting and flying to this game because that's what you're doing 90% and that's the only appeal I had to this game. In this game you play with in the opening like couple hours you just have a jetpack and a gun and this jetpack you can you know hover to like the next area it's kind of like you're allowed to float and hover in the air but you can also you can like slingshot yourself forward and like run up walls and shit from like weird angles and that provides really unique uh cover mechanics i remember there was like some aliens where i was like upside down shooting them like at like angles that i never would have from a normal video game and i remember um a couple really cool moments like the combat and the controls for this game are clunky but they give you the tools to do really cool things and when that really cool things happen i specifically remember later in the game when i had received my like jetpack jetpack and i like flung myself forward like landed punched a fucking alien it it died and immediately like turned uh and like rounded on this like cover area to shoot an alien like in the face like <laughs> because you have all these virtual weapons and shit this is all to a Linkin Park song and I instantly like got an achievement that was like kill a couple aliens in a couple seconds or something like that and I was just like damn that was like the coolest sequence I could have ever made that's probably the thing I remember most about this game. Uh, but other than that, you get to fly around. And I am obsessed with flying in video games. It is one of my favorite things to do. Um, I wish there was more games that were kind of just like flight simulator-y. Like, or it doesn't have to be a flight simulation, but just flying in this game felt so much better than flying and fighting. Because when you're flying around, you, like, getting from point A to point B, like, from the beginning of where the mission is to where the battle is, that feels so good. Like, the controls feel natural. You're allowed to look wherever you want and kind of turn your body in how many directions as necessary. But instantly when you start fighting people, it becomes like, oh, I can't fucking see anybody. The, because the, the people you're shooting at are like, imagine Star Fox 64, but they're literally behind you to your left, to your right, and your field of vision is just very small for what it should be. So, and your guy, like, you have to turn him all the way fucking, like, around and upside down just to get in the field of vision to shoot your enemies. And during all this, you're probably going to be running into weird random ass cliffs and a bunch of other weird shit that they put way too high up. It's like fucking obstacle courses in there as you're trying to fucking find your enemies just to kill them. Not, it's not a good time. I know some people were saying when I was watching the reviews, like the flight mechanics were really shitty. I don't remember them being that way. I do remember that tr fighting and flying was like the hassle i remember that my enemies were very uninteresting too i i don't want shit on halo again but i i got that halo vibe where like 
the enemies you're shooting, it doesn't feel like you're shooting anything. It just feels like you're shooting soft pillows and like lifeless uh, sheets of paper. That's a, that's a vibe I got. The enemies in this game like were very uninteresting. And when you're in flight, like there's literal just UFOs. Like basic ass UFOs that you're gonna fight. And you can actually take over their ships and they literally let you do this because it's easier to fight in a UFO ship. And it flies normal and you can suicide dive with them. Like kamikaze them into other enemies. That's pretty cool. The only problem is, again, it's a short game. I don't think it has like much entertainment value other than it's kind of... The only value to this game is the flying and there's a couple moments with the combat, like I said, that really like, like caught me off guard and I thought was like really cool. They really just didn't design the levels to and give me character, bad guy characters who like were actually interesting enough to do really cool things with. So it just kind of falls, like it was like they made like a good seven or eight out of 10 game and it just kind of fell to pieces and they like rushed it or didn't get it finished or whatever else. I do remember like in the last area being like, oh, is this the end? in the end but it was actually like but but is this the end of the game and i was like okay this is it i'm done and i never t looked back and i always thought i would play this game again i remember the achievements were super easy so i was like this might be something i could 100 percent i don't know uh but you know life is just getting shorter and shorter and i realized i would probably no, I just, I'm probably never going to play that game again. So, that's why it's on this list, and that's why I'm covering it here today, to scrap what little memory I have. I, I feel like every gaming experience is an adventure, and our reviews are our little placeholders for those experiences, and I like collecting those experiences. Anyway, if I were to rate Dark Void. It's a little bit unfair, but I guess I would give it like a 6 out of 10. Because I don't think uh, I would give it a 7 out of 10 nowadays. Maybe when I first played it, but looking at it again, I do not think so. And looking at it in memory kind of allows you to really remember what's true about the game. And looking at like the graphics, it looks like that some early Xbox 360 games look worse than like PS1 games I swear to god this didn't look like that but the characters when you're not like in your little suit they look awful anyway that is my thoughts on Dark Void that was that game I played I will see you tomorrow with another video and until then thank you for watching as always and with that I leave you